Hello everyone. Um, today the uh, problem we're trying to address is to do with uh, dust extraction. As you can see, uh, it's a pretty small workshop that I have. Uh, and most of my work is on the lathe and uh, I do use the table saw and the band saw frequently as well. The issue obviously with the dust extraction over here is that uh, not only is it very loud, a twin motor I felt uh, would be better in terms of uh, power for the kind of work that I do. So those are the issues I'm trying to address. The record uh, RSDE1 is the one that I use currently and uh, I'll just show you how loud that can be in a small workshop like this. Before we go down that route, uh, let me just show you this. Uh, this is a sound level meter and gives you an idea as to how loud uh, an extractor could be. For example, with me uh, talking about two feet away from the microphone on the meter, uh, the sound levels rise up to about 60 or 61 decibels. So let's switch on the uh, record one and see how loud that is. So that goes anywhere between uh, 85 to 90 decibels in, uh, in the workshop, uh, which uh, let me tell you is uh, quite loud. So one of the uh, ways of uh, trying to uh, sort that problem out is to go with a, a different extractor uh, and I've uh, purchased a CAMVAC. As you can see, I've chosen the uh, smallest version, but it does have twin motors. And with the connecting the outlets, like I've done over there, to uh, port the exhaust out from the motor, you find that the sound level actually diminishes even more. This whole thing is enclosed in a little box uh, lined by sheep's wool uh, to further dampen the noise. Now, we can go a step further with the outlet hose there uh, and as you can see if you come down this way I've connected the hose to a couple of uh, silencers which work uh, on very similar principles to uh, that found in cars etc uh, which uh, helps to dampen the noise even more so uh, let me uh, show how that works and get the lid back on first The extractor itself is uh, currently connected to a thin type uh, dust collector, which I have here. With, that's the inlet hose and that leads on to the dust extractor. I've got a longish hose at the moment, which is not very uh, flexible, uh, but that's merely to demonstrate. I will, I will cut that hose down to a shorter length to improve efficiency later. The thin principle, as you know, uh, works on a separator on the top and a drum underneath uh, and you can see the cutout there with, through which uh, all the dust from the cyclone itself uh, falls down. You'll see it uh, in action in a bit uh, and probably understand that uh, a little bit better. So just switching on the uh, CAMVAC extractor let me connect the hose to that uh, first, so you can compare like for like. I'm 
probably watch the sound level meter at the same time. Off. On. That's how that works, and it's about 20 or 25 decibels less loud with this system. I'm currently running uh, just the one motor in the cam back. Uh, it is possible to run uh, both motors, I'll show you that in a bit. So let's try and extract uh, some dust and see how the uh, separator itself works. Uh, now connected up the hose and uh, let me show you how the uh, paint system itself works uh, in terms of extraction. As you can see here, there's a bit of debris that has collected. That's merely a little bit of turbulence that occurs at the end of the cutout, uh, and that causes that to build up. So if the extractor is left running for a while, that will disappear in time anyway. And usually that's not a problem, because once that collects, the rest of the uh, cyclone carries as normal, and it shouldn't be a problem. But if you really wanted uh, to solve that as well, you could uh, introduce uh, little fins on the side wall of the uh, separator to direct uh, airflow so that that uh, gets uh, taken away. Alternatively, you can just use uh, both motors on the uh, cam back like I have. So that's motor one, and that's motor two. extraction if you just let the machine run for about half a minute you'll find that most of that disappears. Motor one off and that's the second motor off. I control both motors uh, individually or together from uh, this uh, remote uh, switching sockets. Obviously that will mean uh, making a slight modification to the uh, camback extractor itself in terms of wiring which is not really uh, too difficult. So in conclusion I believe this uh, works pretty well and let me just show you uh, the inside of uh, the material that I've uh, collected. As you can see, all the dust is in there. That bit I use ma mainly to support the uh, whole system, the separator system, so that uh, when that is placed on top, like so, and on the occasion when the hose uh, might get blocked suddenly, 
there's quite a lot of stress on this uh, this bit of perspex uh, and that's why that pressure is now transmitted through that and through that uh, little wooden uh, dowel inside the drum straight through to the floor that way this does not compress and uh, shouldn't uh, really uh, damage overall an interesting journey I thought uh, just thought this might be uh, helpful to uh, some of you guys. That's me for now. Take care.